On your TV, the Starship Enterprise often lands its crew on worlds where yesterday is today. A time warp has been created, and that time warp has to be investigated. Is classic motorcycle racing in a time warp all of its own? For some, that time warp was the golden era of motorcycle sport. And it started when Jeff Duke first rode in the 1949 Clubman's TT. And it ended when Mike Halewood retired and Honda, Suzuki and Yamaha changed the whole tempo of Grand Prix racing. In between Jeff Duke becoming world champion and Mike Halewood's final crown, the tracks were full of magnificent and uniquely engineered machines. And they were full of superstars. John Surtees, who made MV Augusta the premier racing mark, for instance. What a golden classic era it had been. But no one seemed to care that it was all over. So when the world championship scene shifted to become two-stroke engine dominated, the megaphone crackle of a hearty single-cylinder four-stroke, the howl of a six-cylinder on full noise, and the wonderful throaty chuckle and rattle of double overhead camshaft, four-cylinder, three-cylinder, and twin-cylinder machines seem consigned to the scrap heap of a permanently forgotten history. Then our spaceship landed, and all those enthusiasts who had grown up, grown older, grown wiser, and grown away from the sport, suddenly realized that they were missing something vital, and back they all came looking for more. Was it just the smell of Castrolar? Was it the wonderful cacophony of varied exhaust noise and the hard racing characters who added color and quality to the classic scene? Whatever it was, they were all back. And all over Europe, machines were being revitalized, restored, and then started and run again. Once started, they had to be raced. And suddenly, every classic racing bike was snatched from rest to full race alert. And on modern tires, today's oils, and taking advantage of every modern facet of engineering. The classic scene was reborn. Just look at that crowd that came to see it all happen.